Hello everybody and welcome to this unusual video. This is about something that has been bugging me a lot since I started playing DCS, which is the lack of focus NVGs have near objects that are near to you. So there is a fix to this uh, and I find this issue especially bad in VR. It's not as bad in Pancake, but in VR it can be really, really distracting. And I understand all the reasoning behind it. Uh, it's realistic that NVGs would not let you focus correctly uh, on near objects. Uh, but in real life you have the chance to look around your uh, night vision device. Whereas, especially in VR, this problem is aggravated as you cannot really look around it unless you reduce the size of your NVG uh, or have a decent field of view in your NVG and not everybody's got a Pimax 8K or a Valve Index uh, me for example I got a Quest 2 it's got quite a narrow sufficient but narrow field of view so I've always had a lot of problems trying to Govern the aircraft while wearing NVGs. Add to that the fact that uh, to switch from NVGs to non-NVG, especially in um, in aircrafts like the newly, re relatively newly released Apache, um, it takes a bit of time. And if you're flying, if you're a treetop level, or if you're flying just beside a hillside those three seconds that it takes to get your iHUDs out of the way and your MVG in might be a problem. So the solution to that comes from a discussion on the official Eagle Dynamics forums and it's quite the trivial edit you need to do to a file in the game files uh, and apparently it passes integrity check. So it is something you can use also while playing uh, on multiplayer servers that enforce the, your files to be in their original form. So what are we going to go through uh, during this short, I hope, video? What the problem is, with, which is what we just did, what we want to achieve, and how do we make that happen? Now, the desired effect is something that looks like this. So let's get uh, out of pause. So this is your normal uh, situation in DCS. And when you put your MVGs on, if I manage to do that, there we go. So as you see, the far objects, I've, I've already set this to have not that much gain otherwise normally they would look like this there you go so far objects are pretty in focus but near objects like your instruments your map and all that uh, they're out of focus now in pancake this isn't as bad in VR this uh, is normally a mess you got I mean, the map, you cannot really see it. Uh, I mean, you can make out the numbers here, but in VR, uh, you really can't. And if you zoom in enough, you are able to see the numbers and everything. In VR, this is very, very much exa exacerbated. Um, so what do we want to do? The effect we want to have is that we want to make it look like this if the pilot cooperates and uh, gets his NVG on. So this is with the mod applied. And as you can see, everything is perfectly in focus, even the near objects. This will help immensely, especially if you fly in VR. So uh, how do we do that? How do we achieve our desired effects? Just go on the DCS download section under user files, you will find an Umblar NVG uh, mod. It's a small, small file that you can download and save on your hard drive, like so, like this. And then you have to either unzip it uh, into your DCS root folder. So you just open it like this. So double click on it and it will open uh, WinRAR with the content. Go into that folder, 
take this bazaar folder and just chuck it into your uh, DCS installation. We're going to look at this uh, just afterwards. But you want to use, you really want to use like a mod manager for this. Now, it can be either um, JSGME, OVGME, or this thing I'm using here, which is Open Mod Manager, uh, which is quite the nice mod manager is an evolution of OVGME if I'm not mistaken as developed by the same people or the same person and it's kind of more modern so what do we want to do is just copy this file so go here and either right click or do a control C I'm doing control C now Go into your staging folder for mods, which to me, it looks like this. So that's my um, storage drive mods, DCS word root, because that's where I store my uh, mods for DCS root folder. And it will have a library folder for this particular mod manager and just paste it here. And as you see in the mod manager here, uh, you have this Umblar NVG uh, line that has appeared. Once you once you've done that, you just double click on it. It will be it will get uh, like a check mark. It will be enabled, and it will be on your system to be used. That's as easy as it is. Uh, now to see how to do that manually, just give me a second, and I will reset uh, the whole thing. Okay, so just as we were saying open this thing go into the folder take this folder here let me move winrar a little out of the way go into your dcs installation well this drive is called explain explain is not there anymore since a lot of time so, and you have this bazaar folder here and bazaar folder there. What you want to do is just extract this folder and you will get a prompt that says replace or skip files. What you want to do here is replace the file and the destination. So that will overwrite all uh, the old files that you have and which is this file particularly nbd underscore hdr.fx and it will basically install the mod permanently in your dcs installation i would advise against doing something like this so i'm gonna close close it now and do the uh, mod manager method which is easily reversible uh, if you ever need to go back to your normal uh, dcs installation say at a point uh, eagle dynamics decides that this mod is not in line with their policy for anti-cheating basically so you want to keep this compartmentalized with something like this thing so the the mod manager and that is all i have to say enjoy the mod uh, links to the forum thread and to the location to download the little mod will be in the description uh, thanks for watching and enjoy your flights.